Hello and welcome to Trending News. This is your host, G Monk. Sam Smith sings soul songs, but not in the usual way. Where most of his genre singers shout, he moans. While anger fires many, Smith focuses on hurt. It's a sound a wound would make, a cry without defense or deflection. It's so raw. It isn't always easy to listen to, yet millions can't help it. Smith's debut album, In the Lonely Hour, shows why. In the last year, Smith has become a phenomenon in his native UK where he sang lead on three youth singles, Latch by the dance act Disclosure, La 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 from DJ Naughty Boy, plus his own number one smash hit, Stay With Me. That last single has also gone top five in the US, earning Smith a musical guest spot on Saturday Night Live more than a month before his first album even appeared in this country. To add to that engine, several weeks ago, Smith came out as gay, revealed by a casual mention to a reporter that every song on the album reflects his own love for another man. That gives Smith a bit of history. No other out gay person has entered in the US marketplace for the first time with so much commercial juice behind him, including Frank Ocean. The album's subject matter also gives it an edge. If Adele 21 was about a busted relationship, In the Lonely Hour ups the pain factor to deal with a love that never happened at all. Smith's vocal approach suits that subject. It's a virgin cry, a falsetto simple that it yearns for flesh. The music does little to distract from the pain. It's entirely comprised of slow, open ballads. A few songs vary that with bigger backbeats, strings or even a gospel choir. But there's no letting away from Smith's unwavering ache. Only in a few songs does he draw on soul's common language of strain and overstatement. And it's exciting where he does. At his most forceful, he can sound like Simply Red's Mick Hucknall. Far more often, he is in the erudite territory of Smokey Robinson, letting his falsetto waft ever higher. On the one hand, there's something retrograde about Smith's role. His focus on songs of unfulfillable love recall the sad gay love ballads of the pre-liberation era. On the other hand, there's something modern and brave about a man who's utterly unafraid to sound feminine, to leave himself prone. It's the sound of tears, yet in letting them flow so freely, there's a kind of strength. That's all for today from Trending News. Thanks for watching. Do come back again tomorrow for more breaking news across the world.